Hello, my darling. How are you today? I hope you're having a fabulous day so far. So a while ago, back in February, maybe very beginning of March, before lockdown, I had sort of done a little mini makeover at my workstation in the studio. And I filmed it for you because I love watching makeovers. So I assumed you did too. Like I said, this was... Uh, February-ish, I think, when this was all sort of done. I had started to film the intro and everything for it, and then ooh, huh, this all happened. And I was like, hey, this is a weird time to put out a video like this. And then I thought about it more and I thought, hmm, no, not really. It's still fun to watch, at least I think it is. So I'm doing it. Let's, let's take a look at the befores and the afters and I hope you enjoy. Welcome to my little workstation. Well, the before of it, anyway. So this shelf is what I used to hold most of the things that I needed. I only had one drawer unit, so everything else was on here. Um, on the top it was just odds and sods of things, I didn't know where else to put them. The second shelf, however, is where I held all my brushes, all my uh, primers, top coats, any gel that I might be using at the time. Uh, we've got gloves and liquids and monomers and forms and all those containers are holding my glitters so that was not working for me. And down here is just extra paper towel and things that I needed. Uh, this table is what I used to do all my nail art on when I was doing it at home. And then we're gonna go over here to my desk which is a glass table. Do not recommend. <laughs> it's never broken, but I'm always terrified it's going to. Okay, so my client chair here, it's just a dining room chair and it's sort of wiggly and starting to fall apart, so I'm definitely going to get a new one of those. However, my chair here is an old school office chair that was gifted to me from a very good friend of mine. This lamp I got from Costco. It is currently doing the job that I need it to do. <laughs> it's not perfect, but it's doing what I need it to do and it like moves around and it has USB ports in the back so I can plug things into it. This is just a regular armrest that I have raised up on this wooden block that we used to keep our monitor on in my house when I was growing up. So, history. Okay, so in my drawers before, implements and acrylics and monomer and forms and things that I would be using on the daily. And then files and buffers and some orange wood sticks. That file there is what I use to prep my other files. And in here is where I kept all my nail art stuff, really. We have extra brushes, flowers, and Sharpies and tape and the few bits of stamping stuff that I have is in there. We have some hollow sticky paper stuff. Pretty much anything that I've collected to put on nails. Like rhinestones and crystals and little metallic things. Down here we have all of my paint, so most of that is actually from the dollar store. And then I have my Light Elegance buttercreams and gel paints. And then in here I have a mixture of some glittery acrylics and some gels. More acrylic paint under there, and then there's some acrylic that I mixed myself, some colored acrylic that I mixed myself in there.
And then we have all of my gel polishes. And there's extra tape that I use to wrap my e-file. And then in this drawer I have all of my regular polishes, which I ended up decluttering a lot of these. And you'll see how much I kept in the after. I decluttered them because I don't use them on clients. I use gel or acrylic. It looks so much brighter and cleaner without that big dark shelf cluttering up the entire space. So these gold shelves I got from Ikea and I was wanting a corner shelf but I couldn't find the exact one I wanted and then just the way these were shaped they worked out perfect for the corner shelf that I was looking for. I just got one of these little marquee boards from the dollar store. And this little plant holder I also got from the dollar store. It's like a chromey little pineapple. So these polishes here are the only ones that I kept from that entire drawer after the declutter. And then there's this little Virgin Mary statue. I'm not a uh, Christian, but I think she's pretty. <laughs> and I like the colors of her. This mirror I got also got from the dollar store and it kind of ties in the gold from the shelves. And then, of course, I have this three-tier cart from Ikea. And this brand new white desk from Ikea. So this desk is much narrower, which is so much easier to work on clients for me. And it's a little bit longer, which gives me a little more space to make a mess, quite honestly. And it has two drawers in the front! So when I'm working, I would pull out this cart so that I have even more space well, to make a mess. <laughs> and then I have more drawers over here. So let's go in my drawers. So this is my Helmer unit that we went through previously, but in this drawer I now have all of my towels. In here I have the implements that need to be cleaned and sterilized. I have extra tape. And then I have a little notebook that I keep designs in. Extra acrylic that I'm not really using. And then down here is my odds and sods. We have little tiny canvases I like to stick uh, nail tips on those and then those are the nail tips that I would be sticking on those. I like to use that for like little displays. Really just bits and pieces like batteries, band-aids, uh, little crystal things for pictures, a phone charger, Uh, little lenses to stick on my camera. I haven't used those in years, really. And now I have all my extra gloves, 
and then gloves I took out of the box because they didn't fit in here. Extra cotton swabs, thingies. And then these are form backings, uh, extra ones, and I just kept them in there because I, I don't like to throw them out. I like to use them as palettes. And these are all my gel polishes. I did get rid of a few because they were not really good anymore, but most of them I kept. And then in this bottom drawer, I have all of the glitter pots that used to hold my glitters and white frames. I'm using those to display nail art as well. So in the first drawer of my desk, this one I'm just, I'm pretty much using this just to collect dust. Then over on the other side, we have everything that I'm using on the daily. Not currently, but when I'm working on clients. So those nippers I just use to take off crystals and stuff. Buffers, files. Some implements and glass files. Extra brushes and the holder for my e-file bits. Lip balm and the reusable clippy things to take product off. <laughs> then we have all of my primers and top coats and my Light Elegance buttercreams and some other acrylics like colored acrylics and colored a few colored gels. And most of these little containers inside of the drawers I got from the dollar store. And then I have um, odds and sods of glitters just in this little container, like little stars and um, tiny little glitter pots. And then this held all of my different pigments. And this is my favorite drawer all of my glitters. So this actually has been updated. All of those glitters that you see that aren't in matching containers, they're now in little matching pots. They all match now. Now we have all of my paints and those are the backing forms that I am currently using. Some gold leaf and silver leaf, some sponges, all of my paints, so the gel paints and acrylic paints. art bits and pieces. So some pearlies and little metal sticky thingies and some crystals. dried flowers and some more and gold leafing feathers and then the full cover tips that I do the displays on and then in the last drawer <laughs> I have a drink and some invoices and then all the things that I use for photos so doilies and holographic papers glitters and a delicious peach water <laughs> and then in my cart are the things that I'm literally reaching for constantly so the implements that I would be using with that client alcohol brushes lint-free wipes A little, a little trash tin. 
paper towels, a giant fluffy thing that really just makes a bigger mess than it cleans up, sharpies and pens and pencils that I like to use to draw on nails, orange wood sticks, The second tier doesn't have much in it, it just has like my liquids, like my top coats and my monomer. And then down at the bottom I have the gloves that I emptied out of the box and my towels that need to be washed and obviously some Clorox wipes and some more paper towel for cleaning. These prints that we have hanging on the wall, Jim got these for me as a gift from Popper Most Prints. She is a local artist and I will link her social medias below in case you wanted to check her out. And this pizza piece is by a local artist named Jules McKay. I will also link all of her social medias below. That is it. I hope you enjoyed my little workstation makeover. Everything that I can think of and remember and find that we use to do this, I will link below. Most of it's Ikea, to be entirely honest with you. I will link whatever I can. It will be there if you're interested for when you can reopen or for your own home organization. I don't know. I don't know what your plans are. Ooh, and I will link Talia's nail tales down below because a lot of my inspiration comes from her. She's an organizational nail genius. Definitely highly recommend checking out her organization videos. They are fantastic. All right, so that is everything for today. I hope you enjoyed this video, possibly even learned something. Maybe you were inspired. Maybe I just wasted 15 minutes, maybe more of your time. I don't know. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you can find my videos without having to like search for things. I don't know. I don't know. You do what you want. It's your life. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Please be safe. Please wash your hands. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.